Hello class, how's your gathering of the data? You have given a two weeks for gathering of your data and then after that you need to compute your data and present it in table. So in this video I'm going to teach you on how to compute your data. So there are two things that is important or two parts that you're going to compute which is very common first one is the profile of the respondents and the second one is about the other table um, computing about the weighted mean so for the uh, profile of the respondents there are two important I mean three important um, terms we have indicators so the indicators are the age, the sex, civil status, highest educational attainment, and occupation. So these are the examples of indicators. And then in the right side, you have uh, frequency, percentage, and rank. So the question is how to compute this frequency percentage and the rank so I'm going to teach you on how to uh, compute the frequency the percentage and the rank so I will do my best to teach you the easiest way so let's start with the frequency So the total number of these um, items, uh, 21 to 24 years old, there are four respondents who are who answered the 21 to 24 age bracket. So there are four respondents who answered 21 to 24 years old. So I have a question for you. How many respondents on this study? So there are 20 total respondents. Okay. So the meaning of uh, letter N, small letter N, it means that it is only a sample uh, population. So the 20 will represent, for example, there are total of, um, for example, um, 500 instead of uh, distributing the questionnaire to the 500 employees you will just have a 20 respondents that will represent the total population so if your respondents are the all the employees it will become a total population so that will be a big letter n but if we will only have a sample that is why we only have here a small letter N. So again, the total number of respondents for this um, sample study is only 20 respondents. Now let's go back to the frequency. So the total of um, this one, 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 6 equals 20 okay this is for the frequency so there are four respondents who answered 21 to 24 there are five respondents who answered 25 to 29 there are three respondents who answered 30 to 34 there are two respondents who answered 35 to 39 and there are six respondents who answered 40 and above so if we will compute all this one a total of you will get a total of 20 okay that is the total number of your respondents okay gets that is for the frequency very easy now let's proceed to the percentage Okay. 
okay so I'll just erase this one percentage <coughs> again if we will total this one 20 plus 25 plus 15 plus 10 plus 30 equals to 100 percent if we will total all this one we will have 20 it means 20 respondents so once we will compute the percentage the total is 100 percent so how to compute this 20% for 21 to 24 years old? So what we're going to do is to um, divide the 4 to the total, which is 20. And then we need to multiply it to 100. Okay. So 4 divided by 20 times 100 so the answer is 20 percent 4 divided by 20 times 100 equals to 20 percent so we will use a calculator here so there are four respondents who answered in the 21 to 24 years old 4 divided by the total number which is 20 divided by 4 divided by 20 and then times 100 percent times 100 percent equals 20 okay 20 percent again we get this 20 percent by dividing the 4 to 20 which is the total number of respondent times 100 equals to 20 percent same with the rest 5 divided by 20 times 100 equals to 25 so if we will add all of this we will have a total of 100 percent okay very easy And now we are going to compute the rank. Or shall I say we will not compute but we will just um, check. So for the ranking, it is very easy. Okay. So as the word rank, there is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Just like in the competition. So the highest will be the first. So among these um, five data here, which is the highest? So obviously, the highest is the last one, 30%. So that is the first rank. Next, to 30%. Which one? So the second in rank, is the 25 percent so that is why we have number two here and then the third one obviously the 20 percent that is why we have three here and then fourth one is 15 and then the lowest is 10 percent that is why we have number five here okay so i hope that with this um, short video you have learned something on how to compute the frequency how to compute the percentage and how to determine the rank so for the next video I'm going to discuss on how to compute the weighted mean thank you bye bye <laughs>